what is the big O of your solution? Uh, huh. How did you make it better? That is a great question. Um, so I guess I'll just um, share my screen and kind of walk through it and show you how I would actually walk through that in real life um, if I was asked this on an interview. So we're back to my solution over here. And the big O of this solution, uh, so the way that we would go about figuring this out, I can kind of walk through. You can see where my cursor is at as I go through it looks like. Yeah. So um, I at line 36, I've now added every single word to um, this sorted repository. So that's uh, O of N. Then we go to line 37, and I'm sorting that repository, which is O of N login. And so now uh, my solution's at N login, because uh, that is bigger than N. So then we go down to this for loop and what I'm doing here. So like obviously doing a for loop on a customer query, that's going to be, uh, I'm going to call it M. Um, and then uh, we go through our sort of repository one time. So I think this is probably the, the most expensive part of the whole solution right here. So I would say that this solution is an O of M in solution. Um, obviously, if the customer query was super long, you could, this is potentially something like an N squared solution, um, but I would actually probably call it MN. Uh, how would I improve this? I think there's quite a few ways. Um, a tree sort is probably a better solution. Um, I'm not totally positive the big O off the top of my head, but I think it would be an N login solution. Um, another way that I think could really improve this particular solution to sort of iteratively uh, improve it is if you, um, rather than walking through every single word, which is what I'm doing right here, I think what you could do is um, at the top here, rather than adding every word, you could do something like, if this word starts with uh, the same word as my customer query, I think that would be a huge improvement. Um, that would be really easy to add in. So you just put an if statement uh, right up here at line 33. That's probably the first thing that I would do. Um, if I was trying to improve this, I would check uh, if that was um, good enough, because I think that would allow you to have a better, quicker solution without doing a huge uh, refactor on, on the overall solution.